Okay, this is our second lesson, and this is going to be all about the grip hand. Now, if you're holding the cue properly and addressing the ball properly, you will have about 11 or 12 inch bridge to contact point, such as you see here. And your backhand or grip hand will be at 90 degrees to the floor. As you can see, at impact right now, I'm at 90 degrees. The shoulder in the pool stroke does not exist. That joint is not to be used. So therefore, if I follow through, you'll notice without moving the shoulder because I'm at impact, I'm hitting straight through with ma maximum power and I'm hitting precisely where I'm aiming. So that would be great for high or center ball. If I want low English, by simply moving my bridge up, you see now that the tip is going down. So that enhances low English. So to kind of show you what I'm talking about here, I'm going to go ahead and hit the ball, gripping closer, and you'll see with very little pressure, you can draw the ball. It doesn't take anything. For high or center ball, I want to be at 90 degrees. I want to impact at 90 degrees. For me, I'm almost off of 58 inch cue because I'm 6'4". But here's my high English again. As you can see, I'm off to the side. It goes straight through where I aim if I don't incorporate the shoulder. Put that up. All right, no shoulder, and now we're going to hit it with high. Okay. The other thing that I left out in the first lesson when it comes to deflection is that with a cue that has very low deflection, if you miss the center of the ball slightly, it doesn't make a difference because it doesn't deflect enough for you to miss a long straight in shot. But with all other cues, without other than a low deflection cue, you should always choose a side. Never try to hit center ball. There is no such thing as center ball. Most great players aren't even able to hit it one in five times. Pure center I'm talking about. One radius against another radius. So if your attempt to hit center ball understand the logic that if you're trying to hit pure center and you hit on either the left or the right, you're going to have some deflection and you don't know which side you're going to hit. You're either going to hit the left or the right if you're trying to hit center and you don't know which one. So you can't adjust for the deflection that you're going to get from hitting off one side or the other. So always choose a side, preferably the side that you shoot on, right handed on the right side, left hand on the left side, depending on your dominant eye. Now your dominant eye should be very easy and most people know how to find that out. Pick out any object in front of you with both eyes open. Close one eye, close the other eye, and the eye that stays on the target with both eyes open is your dominant eye. And that dominant eye should be over the cue precisely. 